Good morning. Whoops, my camera's not in the right spot. Uh, all of a sudden, my all my desk stuff is out of order. You're out of order. The whole system's out of order. Okay. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> it's 6.22 a.m. on Friday, August 5th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, Friday, huh? Hmm. We'll see about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, tonight, Mike and I are going to be recording our newest episode of Watching 100 Movies. And, uh, yikes, Luna, come on. Um, we're going to be talking about the treasure of the Sierra Madre and the best years of our lives. And, uh, as per what you might expect when we're getting this low on the list, they're pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so that'll be tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to a uh, New England audio drama producer's barbecue. Right? Um, I only know maybe two or three people there. But, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be fun. I get to bring my dog, which is a plus. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Although, to be sure, anytime I have something to do two days in a row, uh, the little anxiety circuits start uh, spinning up in my brain sometimes. You know, just like the whole, the whole thing I've talked about so many times on, uh, on these videos, which is just this idea that there's something that I want to do that I'm excited for, but then as it actually starts to get close, that's when I start getting these little back-of-the-mind thoughts of, wouldn't it just be easier to stay home? Wouldn't it just be, like, you could just stay home. Wouldn't, isn't that, isn't that better? You know, I need to push past that stuff. Um, because, you know, like, it's not coming from a real place. It's kind of just some mental habit. Anyway, I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of Zero Time Dilemma, uh, which is interesting just because in terms of overall length, it's maybe about half the length of Virtue's Last Reward, um, which is okay because that game was really long. Um, for the type of game that it is. And I do not at all feel dissatisfied with the length. I'm very, actually, I, it feels just about right to me. So I think that I, I have one more little pa story path to explore, and then it's time for the true ending. Uh, I've been very satisfied with the game. Uh, it's, it's kind of exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, with a couple of minor exceptions. There's been two spots where I had to, uh, I looked up a guide just to make sure I wasn't crazy. And uh, one of those spots, I was kicking myself because I just, I, you know, the timing of me looking it up was, was just like, I, I was interrupted in trying to actually solve it, and I was just thinking about it without having the game in front of me. I think that if I had just had the game in front of me for another 30 seconds, I would have gotten it, so I was kind of feeling dumb about that one. Uh, it, it, it'll basically just involved having the letters P-I-S-N and uh, thinking, it's probably I just need to arrange them into a word so that it will go with this roulette wheel and somehow I didn't manage to put it together to spell spin <laughs> um, while I was first looking at it and then when I googled it I was feeling really dumb. So that was an example of one that I should not have looked up. The other one though, once I saw the answer I was like, yeah, I'm glad I looked that up because in a game that is kind of all about these making quick decisions and then later 
knowing the actual official answer to something and going back to enter it in, there's this one place where it feels like you are kind of supposed to know the answer, but the character wouldn't, and it's a weird situation, and what it actually wants you to do is say, I don't know. And I just feel like that wasn't indicated as clearly as it could have been. So there's a few tiny, tiny tweaks that I felt like could have been improved, but um, on the whole, very satisfying. It's got some really uh, exciting, uh, heady, philosophical science fiction concepts uh, going on in there. And I just really love the conceit that I've talked about before, wherein um, the normal nature of one of these types of games where you're making different choices and it creates this this sort of branching story having that be part of the story and so the only way to actually get the real ending is to have explored that whole all of those branching pathways and using information from each different route to help you solve the puzzle that allows you to get, to get the true ending. I just I find that immensely satisfying. But anyway, it is, uh, you know, getting to be that time. Got to get ready for work, so I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.